welcome. So I'm here with uh, Bruno Roche from ABB today here at the World Hydrogen Congress in Rotterdam um, in our media center. Bruno, it's um, a pleasure to have you here and I'm looking forward to our talk. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me, uh, Thomas. And uh, yeah, it has been a pleasure those last days. Very, very occupied. So looking forward to the conversation. So then um, talking about ABB, so I'm as, as an electrical engineer, I um, I mean, I grew up, I would say, with ABB solutions around power electronics and automation solutions, especially in the electrical um, industry, in electricity supply. Um, so what's your take now and your development towards the hydrogen industry at ABB? Okay, so thank you, first of all, for the good words about ABB, and you are right. Uh, we really are uh, focusing on electrification also automation and what we call digital, which is a name that uh, all the industry is using, but it's very relevant for uh, the hydrogen uh, market. So I explained shortly, we were speaking during this conference a lot about electrolysis. So you see this clean or green hydrogen. And when you look at it, especially on the context, uh, we are not uh, looking at the core electrolyzer manufacturing or the fuel cell, however, uh, our relevance is significant uh, when you look at it from the power side. So to power an electrolyzer, to break this water molecule, you need electrons. And these electrons now represent most of the cost. So not only on the capex side, where we can represent around 20% of a capex when we take the whole portfolio of ABB on electrification, but we are even more significant when it comes to the operations because when you operate, this energy management uh, uh, will be critical to lower down the cost of production of hydrogen. And interestingly, by engaging early with uh, what ABB has as an expertise uh, to define plans, that will enable customers ultimately to make the operations most optimum and, and, and uh, uh, reduce the cost of uh, the production. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, automation solution is basically electricity is a large part of each um, green hydrogen production. Um, taking into account what you said, I mean, um, how did you experience um, the development of customer requests, especially when it comes to um, hydrogen projects and realizing hydrogen projects? Because, I mean, um, a lot of projects start with the uh, first idea, um, starting about bankability discussions, um, pre-engineering, but then um, ABB is already um, a large part of components and digitalization solutions where we need to reach FID, so you need to have the plans. So how did you experience customer requests and projects develop in this direction during the last two years, for example? So, very interesting question because this is disrupting. Yeah. We come to an industry where it's very mature, where we have uh, very detailed engineering uh, works that normally are flowing to us, where we are happy uh, to deliver an offer or full offering. But when it comes to this hydrogen topic, I mean, the questions are much more broad. How to make your project uh, bankable, uh, what type of uh, decision to take, that includes also uh, the core components that we have in ABB. Uh, we have some uh, critical equipment like uh, what we call rectifier to convert uh, this alternative current to direct current that will be needed for electrolyzer. And as a core competence uh, on, on these systems, uh, we need to be involved early. So the disruption comes when uh, customers uh, realize that we have to be engaged much earlier than before. And interestingly, uh, we had, uh, after some years, uh, some partners we were uh, seeing more and more, and I can take the example of Worley, uh, where together with customers, we have been asked several times the same question, and we started to uh, work together to standardize uh, what, will, uh, what is becoming uh, the similar request, whatever the application and whatever uh, the electrolyzer technology as an example. So being agnostic to that, the idea is to help this OEM to really concentrate on what they focus on. We want them to develop as good technology uh, as they can and we want to take the hassle out of all this electrification and automation portion. So this is also with Worley when we decided to engage even with IBM, thinking a step even further about how to integrate the asset 
into the complete IT system and all the, the ERP thinking about the demand uh, uh, and the energy sources. So the idea was really uh, to team up with some, you know, without exclusivity, but very close relationship with partners, uh, but uh, again to serve customer and uh, ultimately or most important partner is the customer being the end user, the operator or the EPC that will also uh, put the plant up and running. Yeah, I mean, this is something we saw here um, as well when talking about project realization. I mean, a classical waterfall approach um, to implement a project is not working if you really want to go fast. So you also need there an agile approach, including more and more partners in an early phase of the project. But this is a really great idea. And I had an interview with Hans-Dieter Hermes from Worley yesterday, and he also mentioned uh, this cooperation with you, IBM and Worley. Could you perhaps also focus a bit more on what exactly you're, you're doing there and what's the benefit especially for the customers then at the end? Yeah, thank you for the question. Again, the idea here is, as I said, to standardize as much as we can, but standardizing on a market that is not mature yet is quite complex. So what we have seen coming very early, it's to use uh, this digitalization I was speaking earlier. But here it's really to make a kind of what you will call a digital twin uh, that will be here uh, not only to prepare the build of the asset, this is really the competencies of, of uh, uh, Wally in this case, but also to operate the asset where we step in as ABB with a lot of expertise and knowledge in the market. So about simulating the operations very early on thanks to this digital twin that we have. And when we turn to IBM, also thinking how to integrate it. You were speaking about bankability of projects that also needs a full ERP system, working yeah. all together uh, into the IT infrastructure. So how, arriving very early with a solution that will enable this uh, ramp up, thanks to this digital twin that will become standardized solution to be applied, uh, is really uh, was a demand and we came up with a solution that we think is quite advanced in the market at the moment and we receive very good feedback uh, from first customers.